Right, me and Jenny are here today with Ryan Bird, who's a singer-songwriter. So, Ryan, who are your influences? Well, uh, influences, um, it's quite a difficult question because um, like, I, I listen to mainly singer-songwriter people because like, with me being a singer-songwriter, I take quite a lot of like, influence from people who've done well singer-songwriters in the past, but I don't try to be you know, like an exact like, copy of other people. You know, like, um, I listen to quite a lot of Ben Howard, um, I like a guy called Mike Kinsella who goes by Bowen. Um, there's, there's loads of other people who I listen to, but um, it's like I'll, I'll try and take different parts from those people's songs and put them into one one song that I create, mm. and then sort of try and put my own twist on it. So it's it's still my own song, but it's it's got um, like elements from other people rather than just like a, an exact copy of what somebody else might do, you know. Do you think that's just what helps make you sort of unique and create I, I your own sound? I guess, yeah, in a way, yeah, it, it is because a, a lot of people do sort of pick up a guitar and they start singing and you think, all oh, right, I need to do what this guy's doing, or I need to do what she's doing, but that's not necessarily the case because, you know, everybody can be original in their own way. It just, you know, it, you have to sort of do it on your own and put your own twist out there to see what it sounds like, like even for yourself, you know, like mm -hmm. you have to know what your own sound is yeah. before like before you go and write music and stuff so so when you write your songs obviously you write from personal experience and yeah. stuff do you ever feel really emotional when you're playing in front of people and stuff well i i think more it's more the writing process that's sort of like if i guess emotional process if you could call it like like that, that's when it's like it's mostly because obviously like you say when i write from personal experience i write about quite a lot of things that have happened to me personally and i think that's a really good way to write music because you're writing from the heart you're not just writing something about you know something that you might not know much about mm. or like if it's better if you write about experiences that you've personally had because you know about those things and you know what they feel like and you know what it makes a person do so you have a better understanding of that and it makes you write much better lyrics because you think less about writing the lyrics and more about writing how you feel mm -hmm. so it, it doesn't necessarily become yeah i'm just writing lyrics it becomes i'm writing you know i'm writing about what i want to write you know this is how i feel this is what i want to say mm -hmm. and um in terms of sort of performances like say if you were to do a gig would it be mainly original songs or do you cover yeah it's well? it's all originals i i, I only play originals um mm -hmm. i used to play covers because i used to do when i was when i was first starting i did quite a few like buskers nights and open mic nights and stuff because that's really the best way to start when you're doing this type of thing because it's free and you can just get up and play as many songs as you like if, like, if they let you. Mm. Um, but after like I got my first gig, which was actually a year ago this month, um, that was when I started thinking, right, I'm gonna you know stop with the covers and maybe you know, you know take it seriously and start mm. writing my own stuff more rather than just focusing on doing covers because when you write your own stuff, you sort of discover more about how you are as a musician. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're just doing a cover, it's 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 like it's sort of like there's a barrier between the creativity that you have because. Mm. You're not using your full potential. You just you just cover other people's yeah. music. So it's basically just being more of an artist. No, uh, yeah. That way. Mm -hmm. You told me earlier that you had to go at a different kind of music. So do you want to tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, in 2011, I was in a band. I've been in loads of different bands before. My, my first band was in maybe like 2009, and that was like essentially a Foo Fighters cover band. You know, we weren't namely a Foo Fighters cover band, but that was all we ever covered. And um, I still listen to them as it, but in 2011 I was in a deathcore band, um, and you know, the whole, you know, getting low and chugging on your guitars and, and all that stuff, you know, and I grew my hair really long and I wore ridiculous clothes and stuff, and I mean, it, it was like, it, it was it was fun, it was, because I, I you know I got to spend an entire summer with, at the time, people who were really, really close friends, and it was, it was good experience musically, and I, I don't regret it because it led to us eventually becoming a solo artist, so... And not not necessarily through through bad ways, you know. It was just that alone made me realise that I had, you know, I, I wasn't cut out to be in a band, and I wasn't cut out to play that genre, and I I, did, I was better off solo, and it, it really it's worked out. Completely. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've got evil emerging coming. I up. have, yeah, yeah. That's, so. um, that's, it's it's massive, you know. Like I applied last year, and and I got um I got rejected, and I was I was really good because my best friend's band were playing, um and. I said to myself, I said, right, I'm going to apply next year, and then when I apply next year, I'm going to get in, and I sort of like, you know, I like determined, and then <laughs> I applied in like in, in in January, 
and um, they got back to me at the end of February and said that I'd, I'd got a slot. So I was like, you know, I spent like probably like 20 minutes just going absolutely mental in my living room. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was so excited and I was so like, I was so surprised, you know, and, and people always say, that this, like when I tell them about it, they say, oh, you shouldn't be surprised, you deserve it. But there's, there's, there's no chance that somebody to get a gig like that, especially after only gigging for only a year, something like that is massive to me, you know, because it is a surprise because it's just, I never would have seen this happening a year ago, you know, so it's really amazing to be doing so. Things are really looking up for you. Yeah, they are at the minute, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this year, so I've yeah. got a lot of things planned, so. Bigger and better things then? Very, very big things and very, fantastic. very better things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yes. So, well, have fun performing on YouTube today. I will, I'm looking today. forward to it. Oh, it's as good as Evo Emerging. Thank you for having me. It's been Ryan Bird. Thank you.